Hey everybody, this is the Doctor of Comedy. Uh, I'm coming here to tell you a story I found in um, the New York Post that says a man claims his penis shrank 1.5 inches. COVID dick is real, says Docs. This this story had me laughing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just immature. Maybe I shouldn't laugh at this, but there's a man who said that he lost a whopping 1.5 inches from the length of his penis as a lingering result of the vile virus. My penis has shrunk, lamented the gripping guy in a letter to, to the How to Do It podcast this week. Um, I think this picture is kind of funny because that's probably how every man would look if we lost 1.5 inches on the length of our penis. Uh, purportedly, once a well-endowed man went to explain that prior to his diagnosis, he boasted an above average size tool. I think every man thinks their tool is above average. Um, this also says he claimed that the, a medical advisor had attributed his pecker <laughs> Hey, if <laughs> if I go to the doctor and, and, and they refer to my issues as pecker problem, <laughs> I'm gonna find a new doctor. I mean, if you if you telling me I got pecker problems, that my pecker problems is due to vascular damage from the COVID, I, I gotta find a new doctor. <laughs> oh. Now that I've lost about an inch and a half and become decidedly less than average. Well, hey man, you know, like they say about football, football is a game of inches. And that goes the same thing with men's private parts. Every inch matters. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is how you sit in the doctor's office when you got pecker problems. Like, <laughs> Who, who who found these pictures? Uh, it says, uh, it shouldn't really matter, the man wrote, but it has had a profound impact on my self-confidence and my abilities in bed. Isn't it not the size of the ocean, but the motion of the ocean? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe it's both. I know you can't give me back my missing length and girth, <laughs> Wait a minute. He not only did he lose length, he lost girth. Look, if I get COVID and <laughs> I lose length and girth and I'm having erectile dysfunction issues, just I just want COVID to take me out. I don't want to recover from COVID. Just if I'm in a hospital, mark me DNR and just let me go. Cause if I'm losing length and girth and having issues, I just just let me go. Let me let me go hang out with Betty White. Um, it says you can connect these dots. The physician told slate of the virus correlation to dingaling. <laughs> dingaling. Sorry, I'm so immature. Dingling disorders. I didn't. <laughs> Woo. I, I went to pharmacy school. I did a residency. I've been a pharmacist for a while. First time I ever heard dingling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, man. Who, who, who's putting, where did they find this picture for? Oh. Uh, this article, man. I'm... <laughs> this picture. Oh man. Um. Yeah, doctor went on to cite the studies that have shown cases of men who suffer from priapism, uh, the persistent 
erection prompted sand sexual arousal and erectile dysfunction after contracting COVID. Man, I didn't know COVID was having, was causing this many issues. I think if they, if they start putting this out more, have a, a huge campaign about you could lose length and girth and erectile dysfunction issues from COVID, I think the only anti-vaxxers left will be women. <laughs> I mean, I know you could be vaccinated and still get the, and still get COVID, but <laughs> if this was all over the news, I think the only anti-vaxxers might be women. <laughs> Where's my 1.5 at? Oh my gosh. This is funny. This is. <laughs> Come on, man. These... <laughs> this banana's wearing this mask better than half the customers that come to the pharmacy. What else did this article say? Uh... However, despite the prognosis coming up short, 1.5 inches short to be exact, uh, despite the prognosis coming up short received from, the, from his doom and gloom doctor, both urologists agree that rehabilitative practices like doing penis push-ups or purchasing a penis vacuum could restore length over time. Penis push-ups? Is that like the male version of female Kegel exercises? <laughs> Look, man, I don't want to have to every day for 30 minutes a day just in my office like, don't mind me. I'm just doing my penis push-ups. That was a good workout. She also suggested stretching the penis with a traction device named Restore X, which she says has reportedly elongated, shortened wee wee. <laughs> ah. Shortened wee wee's by one or two. <laughs> I haven't had a wee-wee since the sixth grade. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is, so to make a long story short, just hang in there, guys. There's hope. Hey, man, I just, you know, I'm just trying to spread the word just to let people know, I'll let people out there know that I guess COVID can cause uh, a loss in length and girth and just trying to let people know about this article. Uh, feel free to go check it out. It was in the uh, New York Post um, by Asia Grace. Man claims his penis shrank 1.5 inches. COVID dick is real, says Docs. Uh, I believe uh, somewhere else in the issue, they said there was a urologist were putting on a, a COVID vaccine campaign um, called Save the Future Boners. So that was also funny. And it says the man didn't, um, he wouldn't say if he was vaccinated or not, but I would have to say he was either not vaccinated or if he did get vaccinated, that he probably got the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> I feel like the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine is more likely to protect you from penis shrinkage than a Johnson and Johnson shot would, but yeah, I would definitely be looking like this man. <laughs> ah, well, that's it for this episode. Um, yeah, hopefully you thought it was as funny as I did. All right, bye bye. <laughs>